So I just got my belly button pierced and it honestly wasn't that bad. I'd put it at about a three or four on pain scale, which is pretty unusual because I am a huge wimp when it comes to any kind of pain. I think this was the fastest piercing I've ever had done. Like this lady was quick. It was pierced at a 14 gauge, so same size as my industrial. Right now, I made sure to pick something that I can enjoy for at least six months. Currently, the pain is pretty constant because I literally just got stabbed in the stomach. It's a bearable pain. Um, it's definitely a different kind of pain versus like all the cartilage stuff I had done. So, pretty weird. Okay, so it's been about, I don't know, five hours at this point since I've been stabbed. But the pain, the, the consistent pain is gone at this point. The only thing is if I am in a certain position for long enough and I flex my belly, like if I'm sitting down and then I stand up, it stings. <laughs> already spritzed it with some H2 Ocean, so that felt really nice. And yeah, so far it's been pretty good. I have not bumped it. <laughs> I probably just jinxed that. The stinging does suck, so I'm hoping tomorrow will be a little better, but I doubt it because it's only day one. Hasn't bled a whole lot, which is kind of surprising because it moves a lot more than versus just like an ear piercing. But not really a whole lot to update you on because, I mean, day one, it's just getting used to it. So tomorrow, I'm gonna let you know how sleeping with it was and um, any other updates that come my way. Okay, so day two with my belly button piercing. Sleeping was actually really great. I don't sleep on my stomach, so points there. Um, super comfortable. There was a moment or two last night that I just kind of felt it pulling and being kind of sore, but um, nothing to like really keep me up at night. But as far as pain, it stopped stinging every time I um, adjusted my abdomen. Every now and again, um, depending on how I sit, it does have a weird uncomfortable pulling feeling, but nothing like overly painful. It's only about noon, so I still have the rest of the day to experience this piercing, but so far it's been really, really good because all my cartilage piercings have been a pain in the ass as far as like snagging and hitting them on things. But uh, yeah, day two so far, really good. Um, I sprayed it with saline solution this morning and when I get back home, I'm gonna clean it again. Um, cleaned it with, um, antibacterial soap in the shower last night. So, um, didn't hurt too bad, so I'm really excited. Day three, not gonna lie, I am hurting. I cleaned it this morning and it got a bit sore, but it was bearable. And then I went to the grocery store and I guess I did more heavy lifting than I thought I was going to do. And now my belly is screaming. It's fine if I just, you know, not move, but if I flex or bend over, I can feel the soreness and I guess all the pain is starting to catch up with me. I think going to the store was a mistake. I haven't noticed any swelling or redness or bruising yet, which is a bit odd. Maybe that'll happen in the next day or so, but um, yeah, she's she looks fine actually. I know she's not healed obviously, but she looks normal. I don't know, I guess I was just expecting a lot more redness and maybe some bruising and haven't had any crusties yet, so who knows? I guess it's gonna hit me all at once and I'm gonna wanna die. <laughs> but that's only the update I have for day three so far. Um, don't lift heavy packets of water bottles because um, it might bite you in the butt, <laughs> so yeah. All right, so it is later in the day, still day three. Um, I just cleaned it. Um, it's feeling a little better than earlier, but it's still like painful to bend over fully and stuff. Plus, it is a bit more red now, and I think it's swelling. It's hard to tell because there's not a whole lot of 
like skin to like indicate if it's swelling or not, if that makes sense. But I think it's slightly raised so that it's swelling. That could just be the bar underneath. I, I'm not really sure. It's a lot easier to tell if um, like my ear was swelled versus my belly button. So I have no idea, no idea. But it does definitely hurt more than yesterday. I'm hoping that by tomorrow it feels better because I put it through a bit of abuse today, not gonna lie. So I'm hoping it's just that and it just got irritated from moving so much and everything. But um, yeah, here's hoping tomorrow doesn't suck as much. Okay, so we are now at day five. I didn't record yesterday because nothing happened, literally. Um, everything was fine. It feels a lot better than day three. That must have just been because I was like just irritating it with doing strenuous activities, I guess. So um, good to know that it's feeling better today. Unless anything crazy happens, this will probably be the last day of like recording updates because nothing has really happened. I'm gonna give you one more look at how it's looking, even though it looks totally normal. So I think redness has gone down a bit. Um, it wasn't really red to begin with, which is good, and I haven't had any swelling, so it looks pretty normal. Like, usually when I get piercings, you can tell it was like, it's fresh. But yeah, it's been five days. Um, this is honestly the most easiest piercing I've ever had in my life, which is good because um, I was afraid that it was gonna suck. So unless anything crazy happens, which I doubt it will, unless I'm stupid and I somehow manage to almost rip it out of my stomach, um, I'll, I'll be back. But for now, um, yeah, this is the end of the video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, join the Rock Mafia. I'll see you next time.